I do this to make sure do I look good I don't this is a special video for our special member her name is Tonya Brown and she actually uh, started with us from a long time I mean when we have jobscreenshare.com or maybe before that even you demi course and now she is in jobscreenshare.org and she is also active on our LinkedIn group so I really appreciate Tonya because she's always there uh, forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong, Tonia. I mean, if I was pronouncing it in my language, say Tonia, Tonia, and it's Tonia, I guess, Tonia Brown. So, um, uh, first, I would uh, pray that you get uh, fit, and you, uh, I think you were sick. I'm looking at your email, so I uh, hope you're uh, recovering, and you all recovered, I think so. Uh, so that's first. Health is first. Okay. So now, um, system administrator interview uh, that you're basically talking about, and I'm sure you know a lot of stuff about system admin side. You have read all, you have read, you have basically looked at these all these uh, uh, IT communities. But it, maybe this video will help in something, or maybe I'll say something that will you know you will remember in interview. Uh, so not a big thing. It's just that I'm making this video because you're a special member. Uh, and maybe someone else might be also looking for a system admin job uh, and they're preparing themselves so my suggestion my advice to them would be uh, this first of all I want to tell you this that a lot of people when a manager asks you something they do not expect you to know the answer 100% like it's not a, it's not something that you need to know sometimes people look for your the way you are answering the, the question um, do you at least know the basics kind of like that and then you can just uh, Give your answer depending on how technical the question is so I'm pretty sure a lot of people these days in the trend that an in interview that is right now is that people don't go into technical uh, uh, if it's an interview I'm I'm assuming this is an entry-level uh, system admin job like you know you're just getting the system administration job because I'm not going to talk about an expert level of system administrator because you wouldn't need this stuff trust me you will not be talking about basic stuff over here or uh, the confidence and stuff like that because let me explain that a little bit I know I'm getting off a little bit the topic but if people are looking for uh, some really advanced system engineer interview uh, that person will be looking into advanced technical stuff uh, and of course some other questions behavioral and things like that your your attitude and stuff but that's going to be a lot of technical stuff so what I, what this in, uh, this video is about is that i'm assuming you're just getting into a system admin side and you want this in this this job maybe system administration entry level or maybe uh, kind of like um the the starting of system admin like you know jobs and this this is not for the people who are looking for some senior level system admin jobs so a lot of people when they ask for questions they they actually look for the process like you know nobody is expecting that you should know every single thing but they are looking for the way you answer it did you even like you know when you answer it, did you kind of touch the key points so if I talk about Active Directory backup, sector Directory, something like that. If I say, you know, do you know anything on VMware or how, how would you restore something? Like, you know, if something goes down in a VMware, do you know how to restore it? So maybe you don't know exact pinpoint answer, but at least you should know and you should talk in a process where, yes, in a VMware we use this endpoints, whatever, whatever. We have snapshots and we can do this. So at least they know you're using these terms. So that determines that you know about VMware. So I, as an interviewer, instantly know if I am the technical guy, I would know that you at least know the terms. So, or if I would have said VMware and you just like totally, you're just totally showing me something that, you know, am I asking something very strange? Then that would scare me a little bit because now I know I'm a hiring a system admin and they don't know anything about VMware, which is kind of not good. I mean, you shouldn't know that kind of stuff these days. I mean, now other thing is about, um, you know, knowing um, more than every user, which I just talked to you about the points. Like, you know, when you talk about key terms, like, you know, in, in servers or in VMware, you know, talking about IIS, Apache, SQL servers, these terms, you know, that's what I'm talking about. You know more than just a normal user. So you're not just, you know, studying some courses uh, and you haven't done any projects or hands-on projects 
like for example even if you take a course and you do hands-on projects you're still good but there are people that would just go through get the certification and then they will go to interview and then they would get hit with you know something that is out of the course or there are different courses they never touched it in their their uh, system uh, admin infrastructure course and stuff like that they just talked about Microsoft stuff and somebody threw it something from outside of the Microsoft that a lot of administrators use because that's their job uh, so uh, that's where I'm talking about knowing more than an average user uh, this is where you need to basically go out and uh, if you don't have practice you need to do your practice you know you need to install something on IAS server you know do a WordPress installation it's pretty easy you know you don't have to do something like big other like you know dot net kind of dot net is hard you know stuff like that but you know you, you, you can just put a WordPress uh, install it on IS and just look some videos on YouTube play around with that and that will give you a little experience like what is this when you start talking about IS logs and things like that you will people will know that at least you know this stuff so that is kind of things that I'm talking about then after that you know uh, uh, coming to the basic questions this is something that everybody will ask you that how did you how would you deal with a uh, you know difficult users Dif uh, tell us some uh, uh, tell us an example of a difficult situation that you have been uh, and how did you deal with it uh, and that is totally you know a lot of people will give you different answers so I would suggest you to kind of like you know uh, give a good answer for that one it's just they just want you to give them a, you don't want to give them oh there was this difficult situation one day and then I left the company and I was like you know I don't want to work with you guys I mean that's nobody will do that I know so <laughs> just don't do that but give them a decent answer um, same thing you know they probably will ask you that you know okay so you're coming to this position this is more about projects you know how would you deal with time management and I just created a video about time management just before this so you would probably want to discuss some some of the time management uh, tools that you use or some some of the task management tools like Trello project management tools uh, Jira and there's project management office pro office project uh, project there so you probably would throw some tools out there that they know that first you know about this that in your mind that your system administrator now you deal with users and time management all these things are important but you are also throwing tools in there tools are extremely important these days you know it's not about just uh, giving a good interview it's about just telling them that look I am I'm I'm going out and I am putting my hands on these tools and I'm interested you know so even if I'm not because uh, if these are entry level jobs nobody expects you to be an expert in these things so you just give them like you know th you you are eager to learn this and you are giving these tools names as a, as a person who is in IT when I listen from your mouth all of these terms then I know that you are in, in it you're, you, you're like you know you're passionate about these things um, uh, and these are the things that will matter um, other thing that I would suggest you to uh, talk slow I mean talk slow as in like don't my problem is I will sometimes start talking out and I I'm, I'm like talking non-stop like you know that's that's and then I realized that man I think I talk too much and I just kind of like oh went over the question so if you have a question give it an answer give it's okay to go a little step ahead just to explain that answer a little bit more but talk slow and be calm you know that's one of the most important thing that you don't want to like be uh, if there are five people around you you should be confident enough just just look when people ask you the question the person asks you the question look at them in their eyes and move your head around so then you're like active you're not just looking at one person so move your head around and then slow answer meaning like be calm like you know give the calm so that's where you're gonna uh, that's where things are gonna come out really good from your mouth I mean then sometimes you will start talking things and you will just like oh that did not make sense because you were talking too fast and that's why you were uh, not focusing so summarizing these things for you Tony I, w I wish you good luck be confident um, even if you think that you're a female in this industry that gives you an advantage also because a lot of companies might be looking for things like that that they would bring females and kind of represent that look we are hiring females our companies does the same thing they will hire minorities to match their minorities uh, whatever their percentage is and they feel proud about it so if they have that if they already pick the interview with you then that that's a confidence right there you should have that because they they see something in your resume they uh, they see something in your resume that out of 
hundred or I know I don't know how many resumes people applied and people so many people applied to these jobs that they picked your resume that's number one confidence for you you should be confident enough to just go there and do everything honestly just tell them that uh, when you when you tell them about these things don't just throw it you know be, be give them honest answers and then kind of show them that you are in it you know you want to learn more you are you want to succeed in this you want to do something better for yourself and for the company and you say you want to achieve much better in this uh, field and you want to be an expert in it so they know that now you're eager they know they have resources and they know that you want to get trained that's the main important thing for them other than that Every company has a different solutions. I mean, if I, as a system admin, if I have a person I, I'm being in IT support for so long, if I go to a company right now and and they say, you know what, that's a support job. Yes, I will be confident enough for, about my job and my abilities. But what if they choose to? What if this just just start using total different systems that I never touched? I'm gonna be. I'm a human. I am going to get confused. But you still have to have this thing in your mind, that IT mind, that I always talk to you guys that you need to unlock your. IT side of your mind that that's another human being they made it they they if other people can do it then you can do it and I'm sure you can do it so I wish you good luck uh, I'm sure this this video you might have heard these things over and over again but uh, you know maybe sometimes when I talk and you listen to me it will be more effective in your interview so good luck and I'll see you guys in a different video thank you